Hello, my name is Nigel Palmer and I'm the author of the book The Regenerative Grower's Guide to Garden Amendments. In this short video, I thought I would show how I prepare the hoop house soil for planting in the fall. It's springtime here in New England and I want to improve the soil for next year's planting. I've done soil tests and recognize the uh, deficiencies in the soil and so this is a, a, a way to increase not only the exchange capacity, uh, the tilth, as well as the macro and micro minerals within the soil. So the first thing that I've done is allow the weeds that want to grow in the soil grow to a pretty tall height. Um, I haven't let them go to seed but I have let them grow maybe a foot or so and this provides a tremendous uh, green layer for a layering system to uh, help improve the soil. I'm going to leave some of the plants um, in the soil so that they go to seed. I am selecting my weeds. In this case you'll see kale, collards, garlic, and there's some others in there, the fig tree and uh, some chives, some walking onions, I don't know, there's some other stuff as well. So anyway, I'm going to knock down the green layer and leave the roots in the soil. So now I've left the carbon of the roots in the soil and the green on the top of the soil. Next I'm going to add rock dusts and these rock dusts are selected based on the soil test and an understanding of the deficiencies in my soil. After that I'm going to put water down and soak those rock dusts into that green layer a little bit adding a little bit more moisture. On top of that I'll add micro minerals in the form of fermented plant juices and vinegar extractions. So I've got that water mineral thing going. After that I'm going to add a brown layer. In this particular case we had leaves that were left over from the winter and I'm going to add those leaves to that surface of the soil. And then finally I'll add some IMO4. So that gives me biology and even more minerals still. Then I'll water everything and um, let it go in for about four or five months before I plant uh, in this bed later in the year. Throughout that time I'm going to be adding silts, more fermented plant juices, and make sure it stays moist uh, in order to facilitate that decomposition process. Uh, I will also add leaf mold biology and another methodology of stimulating the biology in the soil. And come August I should have and improve soil for planting my fall hoop house crops. Okay, so this is the hoop house in uh, springtime. So I'm gonna knock all of this down, or most of it down, and prepare for planting in the late summer. Um, what I wanna do is mineralize this space and uh, increase its exchange capacity at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock most of the green down. Um, I want to cover it with minerals and then hay and then IMO4 and then we'll let this percolate for uh, the summertime in order to plant in August. And where's where he's going to go? I'm using simple tools. Okay, everything's knocked down and you can see that I've left some kales to go to seed, collars to go to seed, there's garlic in here, the Egyptian onions and some lettuces are there. So now I'm going to apply uh, minerals and in this uh, container of minerals I have local rock dust, uh, basalt, which has manganese and silicon in it. I also have um, some boron in here in the guise of a borax which is about 10 percent boron and I also have some gypsum in here some calcium sulfate um, from past soil tests I know that these soils are deplete in both calcium sulfur as well as boron and manganese which is in the basalt as well this uh, rock dust is also paramagnetic so I'm going to sprinkle this now on top of the, uh, the green um, to get the macro minerals in here
notice I let the wind go beside me uh, to limit the amount of rock dust that I'm actually breathing. And I love the fine powder. Those fine powders are going to be spread all over my lawn. Uh, so although I'm mineralizing this one area, all of that fine powder will be distributed throughout my property. Just for reference, that amount of rock dust is roughly about a thousand pounds per acre. Before I put mulch down, I'm going to water the surface and have this uh, rock dust kind of move into the cut grass a little bit. Got a watering can and a bucket to help with distribution while the bucket's filling up. Distribute the water. Having a sieve to get that is very helpful. Just it all wet. Micro minerals are added in the form of fermented plant juices or other of the liquid mineral amendments that you can make at home for free. In this particular case, I've added fermented plant juice of quackgrass which has a lovely mineral content, um, specifically of those minerals that this plot is missing. This will be applied with a watering can so that I get these four gallons evenly spread over the entire area. So now we want some brown mulch on top of the green mulch, water, and minerals. Um, and the question is, what should we use for a brown mulch? And the easy answer is, you use what you have. Uh, we've just been cleaning out some beds, and we have leaves that have been in those beds for the winter. And so we're going to use leaves to mulch this bed. Seems there's always enough when working in the garden. In fact, whatever you have is enough. Okay, so we've got green manure, green mulch, brown mulch, water, minerals. What else can we put on here? Yeah, IMO4, what a great idea. So we'll put some IMO4 on here, and that'll give it another layer of minerals and another layer of biology. Great idea. IMO4, and I'll put this down something like this. I could probably put more than this down, but this is a good start. Of course, the IMO4 has macro and micro minerals in it, as well as the local biology, so I'm really jazzing this stuff up. And it's the heat of the day, it's very dry, but we're anticipating rain. And of course, I can always water this one more time when I'm done. Make sure that the IMO4 stays moist. So I have the gravity feed rain barrel filling a bucket while I water. And then I can fill up my water again. Wow, 
boiling water, and I'm still getting water out of my legs. Done. We'll come back in August. See what happens. Those collards will seed. Kale will seed. The nettle will propagate. Should have a nice planting space by then. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, this is a sequence that I use in many parts of the garden and it gives you an idea of the sequences that are available to you. It's important to regenerate your soil and in doing so you want to add macro minerals, micro minerals, carbon, biology, and making sure that the tilth and exchange capacities of those soils are increased at the same time. Until next time.